Hey everybody, it's Tina Campbell, the New York Regional Partner of Master Networks, and we're here for a lunch and learn, and I'm really excited because I'm here with Lucille Rock, and she is a wellness advocate, and she works with doTERRA Essential Oils, and I have a lot of questions for her today, for you, Lucille, today, because this, um, you know, this is a, I find it so intriguing and interesting about essential oils when I really didn't, I didn't know much about it until about a year ago or so. So that's why I was really having you come on and talk to me about it. And I know that you're you know, in the process of really learning about it yourself and mm -hmm. talking to people about it. So welcome, how are you? Thank you, thank you, Tina. I'm doing well, I'm doing well, thank you. I really appreciate this time. No, so not at all. So what are the things like I always, like I have these, you know, um, these roll-ons and things like that, that, and I know how, you know, what I've learned, but can you explain to me, you know, what's an essential oil? Just, you know, what basic? Uh, an essential oil is the essence of a plant. So what they do is they they distill it down, that particular plant down uh, to an oil. And it takes so many, uh, I wish I knew the number on hand, but it's amazing the amount of a particular plant it takes just to fill a vial of one bottle, you know? Uh, but that just tells you how potent and, and how concentrated that particular uh, essence of the oil is. So, um, so that's basically, you know, a quick, you know, 101 essential oils. It's just the essence of the plant. Okay, and so tell, what do people use it for? You know, I mean, I remember in the past, you know, I knew I would, I would see a diffuser, like maybe in a store and they would be, you know, kind of having the oil uh, come out of the diffuser. I've seen that, right. you know, what's, what, is the benefit to essential oils right uh well the benefits uh there's a lot of benefits and what is um amazing about essential oils is the uh most of the benefits especially when it's aromatic are are instant it only takes a few seconds when you inhale an essential oil to to get the message into the brain and already start working i believe it takes 22 minutes for it to be in the cells of the body, like throughout the whole body. So that is how quick uh, the essential oils start working. So um, we host the class every Tuesday night. Uh, it's a Zoom class and it's a, an essential oils made easy class. And we talk about what essential oils are, um, the three cool things about them, the three ways you can use them. And you mentioned one of them, which is um, very common, it's aromatic. And exactly that. So there's there's two ways with the aromatic. Is one you put it in a diffuser, and um, what I love is now is like this one. This is a mini car diffuser. Oh, that's awesome. So it just plugs into the USB. I want one of those. Yes, this is amazing. So you could take essential oils with you everywhere. So I just happen to have this in the car. So it's nice because depending on what my day looks like. Um, you know, am I am I kind of fatigued or I feel like a scratchy throat or something coming on? I could put my on guard in the car with me and just have it going all day long. Oh, um, wow. If you don't happen to have a diffuser with you, you could just open up the bottle, put a drop or two in your hand, you rub it together and you just take a nice deep inhale. And that's that's an aromatic way of using it as well. Um, this one called Cheer, that's from doTERRA and I got this and it's on a roll, it's a roll on and I've put it, I can put it even like on my hands, right? And I can do this yep. and, and inhale it. Yep. So that's or again, that's, that's for the immediate uh, effect. And then just with it being on your, you know, now you've applied it to your skin and what's nice. So then the second way would be topical and just like you, it's in a roller bottle. So that means it's already, um, Either it's a single oil or it's a blend of oil. Cheer is a blend of oils and it's already has the fractionated coconut oil in it. So you just roll it on, you know, usually people put it on their pulse points. They'll put it behind their ears. Uh, yeah. They'll put it on the back of their necks. Um, you can put it on your chest, the bottoms of your feet. Uh, again, depending on what you're trying to accomplish, um, you know, you may want to be specific in the areas that you put it, but that is a second way. And there's different ways you could apply that. There's one way it's called NEAT, N-E-A-T. And that just means you take the oil and you just apply it. 
Um, but some oils like the lemon and um, really it could be any particular oil. If you have, sometimes you could be more sensitive than others to the essential oils. So it's always a good idea to have the fractionated coconut oil. So you would uh, you, you put the fractionated coconut oil on first and then you put the, uh, the essential oil on. And that does two things. One, it calms the oil, the intensity of the oil. So you're not so sensitive to it. And then also too, the oil, the fractionated coconut oil helps it to either, you know, stay in that spot longer. And then also it just drives it deeper into it. So you're getting more of um, um, a benefit of that oil. That so- I didn't know that. And I had no idea that that was the difference. Yes. And then they fraction, yeah, I'm sorry, I just want to say too, the fractionated oil too helps you cover more area. Okay. So it kind of helps keep the cost down of essential oils as well. No, that makes sense. So so what you were saying before is really depending upon, so, so it could be, I mean, obviously you're not, you know, saying that the oil is going to cure anything or, or, or any of that. No. Oils, no, go ahead, finish your thing and I'll make no, sure. No, no, but what you can say is it certainly, you know, they're certainly mood, you know, mood yes. altering. Yes. I mean, you could say that a lot of times. No, and that's the beauty of essential oils. The more you use the essential oils and incorporate them into your everyday, I mean, that's what, that's what doTERRA's whole thing is, is trying to educate you with the essential oils so that you can live an empowered life and using these oils in your daily, every day, you know, everyday experiences. And the beauty of the uh, essential oils is because as you're learning them and you're using them, you're learning about you, what, you know, what makes you work. And the body was created to cure itself. So no, these are not going to cure you. What these are going to do is support the body in doing the job that it already knows how to do. You're just giving it the proper tools. And that's why it's empowering. That, that was awesome. I mean, that to me, that's probably the best explanation. I'm not kidding that I've gotten about them. Um, and the other thing is if you want, so down below when we put this out on, on the YouTube, you can give me the link to your, uh, is it Tuesday night? Yes, our Tuesday night class. Yep. A Tuesday night class where people can they register? Yes, well, that's exactly it. So there would be a, a, a link to register, and then you would get an email with the link to get to the class. Okay, because we can do that so that if anybody's interested and they want to come, I'd really like to take the class. Yes, it's because... a yep, it's a 30 minute class again. It's just a basic 101 what they are, how to use them, and different ways. You know, it'll give specific examples of some oils and how to use them. Right. That's perfect because that's kind of like I've been on the fringe of this, but I've been very, very interested in it. Okay. So with, so with this, um, and I know that, that this is something that, um, you know, you've got, you've become, you know, very passionate about. Yeah. So, and, and, you know, I know that, you know, is your, is your, you know, family, are you using them within your family? Yes. Um, your whole, like really, as you said, your lifestyle. Yes. So just want to, I just want to point out the third way to use the oil. So it's aromatic, it's topically, and then you can take it internally. So, and you just want to make sure before you, you know, wherever you're purchasing the oils, um, you want to make sure to check the bottle. If it says supplemental use on it, then you know it's safe to take that internally. And you don't want to assume just because you bought the peppermint or the lavender from doTERRA, that you can go to a store or online and assume that you could take that, you know, well, I took the, the doTERRA internally, then I should be able, no, do not do that because they are all not the same. You're not comparing apples to apples when you do that. Um, doTERRA is certified pure therapeutic grade. They have third outside party testing. Um, so you're guaranteed that what's in, what it says is in this bottle is in the bottle and then it's 100% pure. So you always want to check the bottle and make sure there's something that says supplement on it. And then you were going to, yeah, don't just eat something or lick this thing or whatever. Right. Right? Make, yeah, make sure, make sure. Um, I but, think the big thing, I mean, I wanted to find out where they talk, where they talk, how they talk about where it's sourced, because I know that's a big thing for, 
um, for, for essential oils, where it's sourced? Uh, you know what? If you're looking for peppermint, whatever particular oil you have, they're going to, I mean, they, that was their whole mission. That is why doTERRA got started because this group of eight people were already involved with essential oils. They saw the power and the life-changing um, benefits that coming back to nature and supporting the body naturally with things that it recognizes, they saw that, they knew that this was it. But what they didn't find in the various companies that they were working was they weren't getting them sourced at where they should be found. So, um, and I'm sorry, I wish I could know off the top of my head where a specific oil was, but just say peppermint, for instance. You know, if you need to go to Peru to get it, that's where they go. Right. So they find out where the best source is because where it grows naturally is going to be the best source because it's just been there for hundreds and hundreds of years and the environment is suited for that particular oil and that's why it grows so well. Right. But the best, you know, what I like most about, especially with doTERRA, um, and I could speak of doTERRA because I've learned of how they source um, their oils, it's called co-impact sourcing. So they will go to these regions and a lot of their, a lot of the um, sources that they go to are third world countries. They're within, they're small farms. The people are very, very poor. They don't have resources like we were talking about, running water. You know, they can't go to the grocery store and just, oh, what do I feel like today? So um, doTERRA goes in there and they work with the farmers. They, they help them, because a lot of these farmers too, they may not be growing things for essential oils. They may be growing other things, whether it's corn, tobacco, or coffee beans and stuff like that. But they have the land and so doTERRA, uh, you know, works with them. It's, they create partnerships with these farmers and they work with the farmers. So they'll educate them. They'll help them get the resources that they need. They will go in and they will improve the community. It's not these other companies that you hear of where they'll go in, they'll buy the land. And then they'll, the company themselves will produce the yeah. essential oil. And then they become brokers. Yeah, so it's a strictly monetary bottom line, you know, and, and that's not what, so, and what I always do is, I always say there's a story in this bottle. There's a story before you even get it in your hand, which is the co-impact sourcing. Before yeah. you even get it, the life-changing um, stories that are happening in the bottle, even before you get it. And then once you get it, we concentrate on the story that you are now going to create with your journey. Wow. So, Lucille, yeah. that's beautiful. Oh, I, well, that's why I just, I love it. And I could wrap myself 100% around doTERRA. And yes, I do. I use it with my family. Once I got my, once I got my starter kit, I mean, it's gotten to, so I started in March. So it's gotten to a thing. The kids said, mom, I, um, my head's bothering me. What do you got? You know, or, you know, <laughs> my throat's starting to bother me or I got, oh my gosh, I got burnt. So it's just, it's just switching everything over. And for me, you know, I have a large family. The essential oils make it so financially doable for me because, right. because one bottle goes so far, yeah. you know? Um, so, I mean, just an aromatic, the whole house, everyone in that house benefits, you know, with the diffuser. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. So you're bringing you know? that in. Well, this is so interesting. And so I think that, you know, what I'd like to do is we're going to put the description uh, of, you know, what we're talking about, but also we're going to add in your Tuesday link so that people, if they want to, they could come and learn. Um, and I think that, you know, we can, I'm, we probably could talk about this for hours, you know, because there's, it's so, I find it really interesting. And I don't, I just, yeah. I think it's interesting because there was so much, I realized I didn't know about it. And I right. think that in this day and age, when you have something like that, it's like if, for people that are learning based, it's like, wait a minute, I want to know more. And I want to know, you know, the, the good benefits and how to help my family. So thank you, Lucille, for, you know, for coming on with me. I really appreciate this time. Yes, no. And I really, I really appreciate you asking me because as you, I mean, I do, I'm just in love with the essential oils. I love sharing with other people and letting them know that there, there are options out there. And if you've lost hope, 
we can help you regain it. You know, um, that's what I like. Well, thank you, Lucille. And so we're going to, uh, we'll put the information in, come visit you and we'll put your, um, some contact information if anybody sure. has questions. Okay. All right, great. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.